This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... Criminals to be fined and jailed. <laughs> After about 12 years of uh, listening, it would be almost inappropriate for me not to upload a Ridleyo thanking the folks at Free Talk Live for two things. First, of course, the uh, various ad purchases on RidleyReport.com that they've made, and also the fact that they provide me and everyone who wants it, basically, uh, a soapbox. But the really interesting thing that not very many people have noticed is sort of a negative. It's something they have not done, which most media outlets do. And being replaced by civil courts that and that is, generally, factual errors. Despite the fact that the show is massive in the amount of content and presented to us sort of on the fly, they almost never seem to get their facts wrong. Now, I can't speak for every single co-host that, that shows up on the show. Some are probably better at it than, than others in terms of how straight their facts are. But if, if one of them does spew a fact that's not accurate, and it's rare, they will often get uh, called, called out on it by one of the other hosts, or uh, there will be a correction posted later. I don't know how they keep their factual uh, uh, accuracy so high, uh, considering the format. And go out in front of this, uh, you know, like the city courthouse or... And when you look at mainstream press reports that are written down, if it's something you're super knowledgeable about, you'll almost always see an error or two, a factual error or two, in the article. I must listen to 20 times as much Free Talk Live as I do uh, read mainstream press articles. And yet, I, I, see, I find almost no errors in the Free Talk Live and constant errors in the mainstream press, it seems. I still think it's great, you know, to have reporters interested in what you're doing, and if they get a factual error, that's usually not near as important as the question of whether or not they did an article about your activity. Uh, the main problem with the mainstream press is not so much factual errors as it is the fact that they don't aim the camera kind of at what's really most interesting or what's most important. I mean, th think about how difficult it's been over the years to get mainstream press to uh, focus on the root roots of problems as opposed to the, the symptoms. Uh, uh, focus on the Federal Reserve, for instance. And, and if there is a focus on the Federal Reserve, it's usually about, oh, will they raise interest rates 1% or 1.1%? Should they raise it 1.1% or 1%? It's like they're living the, the uh, this Noam Chomsky concept that, uh, you know, for for an authoritarian government to maintain control over a population, you do allow spirited debate over very, you know, two different things that are very minor in their difference, two very slightly different things. Let them debate as to which of those two is better, but try to quell the debate about whether there should even be this or that institution, or whether there should even be this or that tax. Economic system here is crazy. That uh, corporations are tied. In uh, Free Talk Live hits on that cylinder too. It's rare for someone to, you know, write a letter to the editor or create a YouTube video about how some media organization got its facts straight. Those videos almost don't exist. So I thought I should make one. You're not perfect, Free Talk Live, but thank you. Egypt people is a very nice, and if the Egypt people take my advice, they will strike down the one party state they fear. But that had better not happen here, cause we know that everything would fall apart if the city of Keene, New Hampshire starts to listen to the malcontents at Free Keene, and sort of kind of cut spending. Because the government needs some expensive things, like the wasteful 34 West building, and the boondoggle jail where we put hat wearers, 
and other people who could be considered swearers. Freaking.com